So this is the FEMA command center. Among their many concerns here is that millions could be without power depending on where the storm slices through the state. So FEMA coordinating with the state authorities have already set up what they call pods, points of distribution centers across the state. And for example, they have a big center just outside of uh, Orlando in Groveland, Florida. But also they're positioning resources outside of the state and outside of the zone. Maxwell Air Force Base in Alabama is a major staging zone. Also, North Carolina and Georgia. One of their many concerns here is the number of uh, people in the storm zone who may not have evacuated and who are elderly, who may not be able to get out, who may not be mobile, who may have medical issues or Alzheimer's, and how many of those people hunkered down and stayed in their homes. That's going to be a priority, coordinating with the state authorities to try to check on those people as soon as the storm, in fact, clears. Among those concerns or among the resources that they're working on is ensuring that they have search and rescue capabilities ready to go, food and water and generators and cots and if necessary, tents, all of that pre-positioned outside of the state. And as you know, they told people if you're hunkering down or for that matter, if you are going to a shelter, you need three days of medications with you at least. If you're going to stay in your home, even though they may have suggested against it, three days of food and water. So the question is, how long will people be cut off from their food, from water and also potentially roads washed out and electricity being out? Those are all of the issues that they're dealing with right here at the FEMA Command Center in Washington. Guys, back to you. Time. Tom, thanks very much. Thank